it was a special type night. This is my moment. Here we go. I can't take my talent. Caleb really did something. Everybody doubted him. He's like Superman. I wish I had an ounce of what he has. Caleb, Caleb was getting a bunch of yards. And then next thing I know, Caleb broke a record. I am in my soul, eyes on the throne. I was like, oh my God. What? Oh! Unless you're just paying attention to his left arm, you wouldn't know he only had one hand. You can't take my voice from me. I will rise up. Caleb Wagner was born on September 25th, 2003, with a nub below his left elbow because of amniotic band syndrome a condition where strands of tissue wrap tightly around parts of a developing fetus and restrict limbs from growing. Raised in Baker, a one-stoplight town in the Florida Panhandle, Caleb says he constantly lived through the pain that comes with being different. As much as I don't want to say it like a fake, it kind of like hurts a little bit. We went to a Thanksgiving play as soon as we walked in the door, this little boy started screaming, that's a monster, there's a monster, and like pointing. Learning how to swim was pretty hard. I mean, even riding a bike, tying my shoes probably was the hardest thing I had to learn how to do. And I felt like embarrassed at seven years old not knowing how to tie my shoes. My mom took me up to the store, bought me a pair of cheap shoes. We stayed up in the living room arguing, fighting all night because I couldn't do it. Probably the hardest night whew, ever with my son. I didn't let him see it, but I went to bed crying that night. When I got up at seven o'clock that morning, that youngin was tying his shoes. Caleb's determination to surprise people with what he can do has been constant. Well. Whether at home, in the weight room, Hurry up, three sets. or on the football field, playing the game he's loved since he was a little boy. Played center in Pee Wee. I looked like a center. I was like maybe 60 pounds soaking wet. Yeah, I was definitely not a sinner. Middle school was when everything changed. For the first time, coaches let Caleb carry the ball. Nobody really ever knew what I had until they gave me a shot. And I'm pretty good at this stuff. When he got to the middle school team, he kept running all those touchdowns. You're thinking, man, when we get this guy up here, he's going to be something special. So his freshman year and his first carry as a varsity player, he gets to the second level. Nobody catches him. That run was the start of something special. As a sophomore, Caleb was the leading rusher in Baker's state championship game victory. And last season, he made history on an unforgettable September night when he broke the Florida State single game rushing record previously held by Titans All-Pro running back Derrick Henry. He had 25 carries for 535 yards and six touchdowns took Derrick Henry about 20 more carries than it took Caleb. Do you remember how long each of your touchdown runs were? No, I just remember being tired after and trying to get the ref ball so I could get some water. Just days after breaking Henry's record, Caleb says he was stunned by a surprising text. He just flips the phone in the middle of class and, and then I look up and I'm like, no freaking way. Derek Henry, right? He's like. He sent me some gloves and some cleats too, which those were, that was pretty, stuff was pretty sick. And then Derek personally gave me some tickets to the game, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. I've uh, grown a relationship with him, getting to know him, and, you know, just trying to, you know, give him advice if he ever needs it. He writes me on Instagram here and there, but he goes out there and he plays. He's, he's full throttle, so. When anything hurt me or I feel like I, I can't go, I think of him and go out there and do my best. As the 6'1", 215-pound running back enters his senior season, the natural question is about what comes next. But despite shattering Henry's record, no major college programs have shown interest in Caleb. I'm a little bit perplexed at how little recruiting attention he's seen to this point. Uh, they're not going to have too many questions 
in regards to his ability level as a pure runner. He does show instincts. If Caleb had two hands, I don't think there's any question that he would probably see maybe group of five level scholarship offers. Caleb has committed to Southern Illinois, a school that plays at the FCS level. And though there could be other offers if he shines again this season, Caleb is certain that whatever happens, no one thing will ever define him. Not his college, or a football record, or even his arm. I don't look at it as a disability. It's an, I think it's an ability, you know, because people are gonna look at me and say, well, he can't do this, he can't do that. Turn on the film. I can do anything anybody else is doing. You can't take my voice from me. I 